Okay, so another thing you can do with DNA is cloning. What is cloning? It's making an exact copy of something. So the first thing we ever cloned was a sheep named Dolly. It's really famous. Um, and the, there used to be this commercial where they had a sheep and they pressed a button and another sheep appeared. And it was like an exact copy of the sheep. So that's kind of what uh, we think of with cloning is like making an exact copy. So Dolly the sheep didn't just have a baby like that had half the DNA of the dad, whatever dad sheep uh, Dolly got together with, um, she made an exact copy of herself. So it wasn't half mom and half dad baby. This was a baby that was an exact copy of Dolly. So that is called cloning when you make an exact copy. Um, there is natural cloning in the world. Every time something asexual, like an amoeba or bacteria or certain plants, every time they reproduce, um, they make an exact copy of themselves. Every time, remember mitosis, every time you make a new skin cell, you're kind of technically doing because you're making an exact copy, not like a new cell. Remember like meiosis makes new cells um, that makes me unique. Um, all the mitosis in your body is just replacing old cells and it's supposed to be making an exact copy. So there is lots of just natural cloning in the world, um, but that's not that fun. So what we like to think about is when we clone stuff, you're not supposed to clone. Like we've cloned entire sheep. We've cloned entire, um, what are those things? Cows. Um, some more stuff that we've cloned. We've cloned um, drug sniffing dogs. Say you had a dog that was like really amazing at dog, uh, drug sniffing um, and you there was just no one else like him. You might want to clone him so he has this amazing ability so that you have another dog like that. Uh, we've also found like really good uh, steak cows. And instead of doing that selective breeding we talked about before where you take one good steak cow that makes really good steak, like Kobe, I think is like Kobe beef is like really awesome beef. And you get them together and they make babies that are good steak cows. Um, this is taking it a step further and actually like genetically engineering, doing some serious science um, to actually clone and make an exact copy of that good steak cow. So how do we do that? Well, this video right here is about how um, this company in South Korea will clone your dog for you if you want them to. And it uh, goes through the whole process and it is uh, hilarious and weird and disturbing and just awesome. Um, and it really shows you the whole process of how cloning works. So please, please, please watch it. Um, the only thing I'll tell you about cloning besides that video is just the basic steps. Um, so step one is whatever you wanna clone, say you wanna clone like uh, your dog, you would have to get a little sample of their DNA. So maybe like the, it shows in the video, they like cut a little piece of the dog's skin. Um, then it's like, okay, where do you, uh, how do you like make this into a baby? Just turn these cells. Um, so what they do is they take a donor egg from like um, a donor dog. So they would, cut open the donor dog and take out one of her eggs. And then you're like, well, now that has that other dog's DNA. I want my DNA from, uh, I think the dog's called Kokomo or something like that. Um, and so they're like, they actually take the DNA and they'll show and they suck it out of that egg. And now this is like a blank egg with no DNA. And then they take Kokomo's DNA and they insert it into that blank egg. And now you've created an egg with Kokomo's DNA because you didn't have an egg from Kokomo. Like maybe Kokomo died already or something. Um, I think she did in the video. So now you have an egg with Kokomo's DNA. Next thing is you would need a sperm to fertilize it. You don't have a sperm and you don't want a sperm because you want to have just Kokomo's DNA. You don't want son or daddy. Um, so they actually have this way of getting the egg to fertilize itself by zapping it with electrical current. And they'll show you that. So now you have Kokomo's DNA in a donor egg fertilized without a daddy. And now you have like a fertilized egg. Now you have like a little growing baby. Then where do you grow that baby? That's what always used to confuse me. And I was always too embarrassed to ask, where does that clone grow? Like do they used to call them test tube babies? Like anyone who was made by in vitro fertilization. Um, and I was like, 
Bolivian test tubes. Um, they don't. Maybe in the beginning, they like fertilize in a test tube. Now you have this fertilized egg, you got to put it somewhere. So where do you put it? Well, you put it in someone else's uterus to grow. Um, where are you going to put it? Well, uh, you're going to put it in a similar animal. So Kokomo is like this little pug. So I think they grow it in like some other dog's uterus. So they implant it into like a surrogate mother's uterus. Um, I think Kim Kardashian had like a surrogate. They took her egg and Kanye West sperm, put them together, and then um, put it into someone else's uterus. Um, so you do want to have a similar animal. Like you don't want to grow like an elephant in like a cat, right? That would like fit nicely. Um, so then the last step is to insert the fertilized egg into someone else's uterus, into a, another dog's uterus, and then the baby grows in that uterus. And say maybe you put Kokomo's DNA into like a golden retriever, uh, but Kokomo was a little black pug when they give birth, it's going to be an exact copy. It's going to be a little black pug, just like Kokomo, the golden retriever mom. Um, all right. So watch the video. It's way more interesting than what I just said. It is so awesome. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions on it to make sure you watch it. So just to conclude, what is cloning? It's when you make an exact copy of an animal. It does happen naturally in nature every time, um, like bacteria, uh, it sexually reproduces. Um, but in, uh, we're talking about cloning, like cloning animals, um, by copying their DNA and putting them in another animal.